welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Alex, I'm a pet portrait and animal artist specialising in acrylic paints. I thought I would film what I'm up to this week in my studio. As always, I've got loads to do. Um, it's very spring-like in the UK today. So we're mid-March. Um, I believe spring officially starts on the 20th, which is in two days time. Um, it's just been raining. It feels like non-stop now. Yeah, everywhere is just very muddy and wet and I think we're all just ready for a, a good few weeks of sunshine now with the odd shower here and there because that's inevitable for the UK. My first set of prints should be arriving from printed.com so I'll show you those. I've also got various things arriving from Amazon. Um, so I've got some glassine bags for my bookmarks some more tassels in different colours for my bookmarks. So anyways, every time I get packages related to what I'm doing with my art business, I will show you this week. I'm also working on some paintings. This Basset Hound is nearly there. I've just got a bit more work to do on the background. This one is not actually a commission. It's one that I'm going to be taking with me to the art events I've got coming up over the summer. Um, so I'm going to finish it off and then frame it and then he's ready to go. The events that I'm doing are bigger than any ones I've ever done before so I need to have more paintings to show so in between doing commissions I'm trying to work on those as well. But yeah, Yesterday I posted Ralph off which was a commission, a framed commission and I filmed me framing and packaging it all up and I made this into video which is the one on my YouTube channel before this one, so go and check it out if you're interested in how I frame and package paintings for shipping. But yeah, and I'm also filming another class for Skillshare, so I have one up on the Skillshare platform at the moment and I'm filming my second one which will be plain, painting a black Labrador. So I'm going to be working on that. They really are very time consuming uh, but I, I do love doing them and I feel like the work that you put in up front pays dividends kind of further down the line because once you've done the course and put it on there then it's on there for as long as you want before you can take it down. Um, yeah so I'm just going to be working on that and yeah there is lots more going on which I can't think of now. Anyways enjoy this video and catch up in a bit. <laughs> realization last night that we're almost in the middle of March and my first event where I show my art is at the beginning of June so it's literally two months away um, and I haven't really done much to prepare for it so this one is going to be outside it's the first time I've shown my artwork outside before so I'm going to need a gazebo and the space I have is a lot bigger as well um, it's three metres by three metres, so I need to get a couple of tables. I don't have any of that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I started looking into it last night and I kind of ended up in a Pinterest wormhole. because <laughs> I basically just typed in craft fair, um, like design, table designs and art market, you know, solutions, storage solutions, that kind of thing. And I ended up pinning loads of stuff. And now I need to kind of do a bit of research into where I can get it from and how much it's all going to cost me. Yeah, so I'm going to make a start on that soon. I think the gazebo is going to be quite a big outlay. Um, so I'm going to try and see if anyone's got one I can borrow first or maybe get a second hand one. Um, I did have a look on places like Argos and 
there were some on there but they didn't have great reviews so it's kind of like you're going to spend a couple of hundred quid and then potentially get something that falls down after the first time you take it out somewhere um, my fine art boston terrier gicle plints print plints prints have arrived so i thought i would open them with you so i only ordered two because um it's the first time i've ordered them from printed.com so i just wanted to check the quality and how they printed off okay, take them out of the bag Actually, that's quite a good close-up there, isn't it? So, yeah, they look really great. The um, It's picked up the grain of the canvas. Um, all of the little individual hairs are showing nicely. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with those. So, the size that I went for was overall 10 by 10 inches. And the size of the, well, the, size of the painted bit in the middle is 8 by 8 inches because I have some mounts that I want to put on top. prints done now to put the listing onto etsy and my website i've just made a little flat lay to take some photos for putting on my etsy and website so i've used some of this canvas roll and my eucalyptus i love eucalyptus leaves i'm trying to use them in all my product photography just to keep everything standardized so yeah i'll take a few snaps now and then i can upload them onto as i said my etsy and my website A delivery so I just thought I would show you what has arrived so I've got some new foam paint brushes I use these to put on my varnish um, I ordered a 10 pack and yeah they're wooden so more environmentally friendly and I ordered some more tassels for my bookmarks so they had probably about 20 different colors on there and it's really hard to decide but I've gone for these and obviously I can add to the colours in the future. So I've got this, does it say on the, it does say it, but I think it's in French. So Sky Blue was this one, I remember the name of that one. I think this one was called Coffee. And then I've got this kind of taupey one as well. Um, so yeah, I've got four colours now. And together with those, I bought some... Yeah, these are the glassine bags to put the bookmarks in. I decided to get glassine bags because I don't really want to go down the route of wrapping them in tissue paper and yeah, it just takes quite a long time. So I've got some of these little bags. I'll just grab one of my bookmarks and see what it looks like. Moment of truth to see if they fit. Well, that's the other colour tassel I have, that green, it says army green, um, yeah, so let's see, yes that is a perfect, if you use printed.com for your bookmarks like I do and you, you choose the same size as me, I go for the, I go for two different sizes, I go for the smaller size, 
um, I can't remember the exact measurements, but it's the smaller one of the two. Um, yeah, so if you do get them from Christie's.com and you're looking for some bags, I'll link these exact ones down below. They're from Amazon. And then I'll just fold that over and pop on a sticker. Let's see if I can take them off this. I think possibly I've done it the wrong way around though. <laughs> Hang on. Never now, but next time I think I'll swap it so that the bookmark is facing this way and then that's the back. Yeah, last night I ordered a load more greeting cards and bookmarks on printing.com with some new designs. So I have ordered some Basset Hound greeting cards and Basset Hound bookmarks from the painting that I was doing earlier. And I've also ordered some of the Boston Terrier bookmarks so they should be arriving soon and yeah I ordered quite a lot of bookmarks because for the event that I've got coming up in the summer the dog festival event they've asked for people to volunteer to put their products inside some goodie bags so I said I would give 25 bookmarks so yeah when they arrive I will get those all packaged up I'll probably put a variety of the three different designs that I currently have along with different colours of the tassels yeah and one thing I actually wanted to show you was something that I've started offering mm -hmm. if people order a custom pet portrait then they can also get a greeting card and a bookmark so I've just filmed a reel and put it up onto Instagram um, and actually from that reel that I've put up already I've had one lady who I painted a portrait for I think it's about six years ago now said that she would love to get some bookmarks and greeting cards made up of the painting um, so I've been looking into costs and if people do want to order bespoke ones to their paintings then they need to have minimum order quantities so I think it works out that you have to order a minimum of five bookmarks and ten greeting cards so the prices will start from kind of that threshold um yeah so I need to basically put all of that pricing information onto my website now as well so last night I started a new commission it's of a Boston Terrier so it's someone that saw my Boston Terrier painting, which I'm making the greeting cards from, they saw that and said that they would love to get something similar done of their Boston Terrier. And they sent me some really lovely photos for it. I think the dog had been in some kind of dog photo shoot because they were really like professionally done. And I loved this one, it's a bit different. So it's landscape. And yeah, we kind of said that it would be nice to offset the head to one side and have a bit of the body show in. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started on that one. And I think other jobs for today, I'm going to continue a bit more on my Skillshare tutorial, start laying down some colour. found a good use for these tiny storage baskets I don't know if anyone watched the video where I showed these but I basically ordered them thinking they were going to be big and they arrived and they were teeny and I wasn't sure what to store in them but yeah it's perfect for all my bookmark making stuff this is my Skillshare setup so I sit there and I've got this tripod here to film with my iPhone and then I've had to put my old phone here in this paintbrush pot to film the palette when I'm mixing colours. Because it is a black dog tutorial I'm going to talk a lot about how to mix colours to make your own warm and cool blacks and greys. Um, yeah so black dogs are notoriously hard to paint. If you did just use black paint like ivory paint straight from the tube and mix it with white to make your greys then you would end up with a really kind of flat and chalky looking painting so in order to make it a bit more realistic you need to mix up your own blacks from red blue and yellow so basically using complementary colors and so yeah I'm just going to do a whole 
lesson on how to do that. And yeah, I'm going to get cracking with that now. Yeah, I've just done the video on mixing your blacks and your greys. So these are the three black colours and these are the three greys. Um, yeah, so these Skillshare classes do take quite a long time to film and edit. So I can't be sure that by the time this video goes up that the Skillshare class will be ready. It probably won't be. But I just wanted to show you kind of what I'm working on behind the scenes. For my last Skillshare class that I did, so I filmed all of the footage. It was hours and hours and hours long because obviously it was me doing a whole painting, which takes hours. And then I ended up short, when I edited all the footage, I shortened it so that the lessons were a lot shorter. But I'm wondering with this footage, just to leave it in real time, yeah, what do you guys think? Should I film it in real time and include all the footage so that the class is hours long or should I shorten it? On the camera, it looks really, really dark. And as I'm adding more and more paint on, because you're looking at your reference photo so much, things start becoming more and more clearer um, because you are studying it all the time. Um, I think my warmest area is here. I'm going to keep that brown and black. I've now run out of time to paint today. I need to go and get my youngest from nursery. So to keep your acrylic paints I mean, if I just left these like this, these would dry out. So a little tip is to put them in the freezer and then um, you can use them again. Can't believe I actually managed to fit that in. <laughs> um, that's the inside of my freezer. <laughs> so, so long paints until next time.